Okay. My name is Pat Thomas and I work for Amgen Australia. Great, thank you. Um, what was the focus of your presentation today? I followed on from David in his presentation, so I expand upon some of the ideas of what a uh, regulatory person might need, some of the skill sets they might need, and I gave some practical examples of developing a regulatory strategy in Australia. So some of the building blocks that you might need to set up your regulatory strategy and how you might communicate that. Uh, and then the final part of my presentation was talking about using that regulatory strategy as a communication tool, tool so to uh, help assist communicating uh, to your global colleagues and helping them in their, their decision making, uh, in communicating within your own affiliate and then assisting your reimbursement and commercial colleagues on, on how that strategy might move forward. So tell me about one of the examples of the building blocks that, that, that are required. Yep, sure. So um, I, I gave an example of an advertisement that looked at what a strategic regulatory affairs manager might do and what their role might entail. And then from there, I gave an example of a regulatory strategy and the elements of a regulatory strategy. So I talked about the summary that you might want to present about the risks and the mitigation. I talked about the program opportunities and different opportunities you might have in Australia. And I talked about the distillation of information about a regulatory strategy and the competitive environment and what you need to put in that strategy. You talked there about communication and the role it plays. What are some of the challenges um, that, that come up when you talk about communication? Well, I think you need to be very clear about the type of application you're going for and the type of information that you're going to supply to the regulator. Without that clear communication amongst your team and to other team members, there might be some confusion. And so when you go to actually negotiate something with the regulatory authority and you come back with something else, there might be a confusion and misunderstanding of what was meant at that point. So it really needs to be a clear document, well written and concise, so people can understand what the process will be. And for some people, the registration process is a bit of a black box. So this is a real way of helping people within your organisation and both globally to understand what the key processes are and the key milestones are for achieving success in Australia. And tell me, um, there were some questions from the floor. Um, did any of those questions uh, um, ring true for you in terms of your presentation? I guess they did. Uh, my comment to the question about um, having appropriate regulatory staff and well-trained regulatory staff has been a question that has been asked within my organisation and how do we upskill people within the organisation. And so that, I think that's a, a very important point because there's not a lot of areas to gain experience in Australia. There's only limited um, manufacturing opportunities where you can see the different types of processes and understand what the changes might be. So it's really uh, important to have hands-on skills but you don't know where you can get that in Australia. So it's a matter of developing training programs both in-house and making sure there's training programs available externally that people can get involved with and Im improve their skills and knowledge levels. What's your key take-out that you'd like to leave with ARCS members? So the regulatory strategy for Australia isn't a, a document that just sits in a file. It is a key communication piece that can outline your strategies for the organisation and can give people a clear message about what some of the outcomes might be. And so this allows people to understand the regulatory process and understand what you'll be doing in that regulatory process. And it allows for a cross-team and cross-matrix communication that facilitates the whole decision-making process within an affiliate.